So another story about a home that we were selling that was having a hard time that should have sold because it was priced really well. It was a great house. The problem with this house, and uh, we're going to share pictures, is that it was bright blue, like like Car Caribbean colors. Well, you'll see in the picture, just super bright blue with like purple shutters, and it just had it was way too much color for the house. So we ended up go, been on the market. We got we had a few showings. We actually got an offer, I think fifteen thousand under where they were listed, but I thought or I felt very confident that they could get the price that they were asking. Uh, the problem is the color was killing it. So what we did was we photoshopped a, a nice neutral beigey, um, they call it grayish now, it's like a gray and a, and a beige. Um, we photoshopped it that color and made that the first picture because I asked the sellers like, would you be willing to pay $3,000 for a paint job instead of reducing price 15,000 for this offer that you have. And they said, yeah, of course, you know, it's a no brainer. So well, let's try Let's try this for a few days and see what happens. And that's what we did. Um, and we ended up getting an offer. We ended up going in right around, I think we're right at full price and we gave them a $3,000 credit for the paint. So they end up making extra money, but that the color is a big deal. So people want to fall in love with it. And some of these bright, bright colors, even though they're kind of in right now, this one was a little too much. So <laughs> for the house, but we end up getting it sold for, I, I believe it was right at list price and they did do the credit, but that was way better than taking that $15,000 hit. Um, just because no one else was coming forward with an offer. So we do have other ideas. If it doesn't, if it's not moving, there might be other ways to make, to get an offer and to get the, uh, the right amount of action on the house.